do state operated way stations make you nervous? Well, tune in today. I'm gonna show you how simple it could be. This is trucking with Mill. Let's go. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about state operated way stations and how to navigate them. I'm currently on I-94 heading westbound in Wisconsin, getting ready to cross into Minnesota. There is a state scale right at the line. This particular scale that we're going to show today is kind of tricky because there's an on-ramp that comes up the side of where you need to get over to get into the way station. And that ramp can actually get pretty backed up. So we'll see how traffic is today. It's kind of light so far um, as we're approaching it. But in, in my 14 years of driving a truck, I've noticed that way stations give people the blueses. It does. And I get it. Every state is different. You know, some states want you to, to stop on the scale. Some want you to roll across. Some want, you know... They got the platform scales where they can weigh the whole truck. Some got to weigh each axle separately. Some want you five miles an hour. Some want you three. Some don't want you nothing at all. But the key is to pay attention to the signs. So for this particular scale, because I drive this route so much, you if you look off in the distance, there'll be a sign that'll be flashing if it's open. All trucks must enter way station. So start preparing yourself for this way station. Um, that's the key. They're, they're not tricky. They're really easy. And I get it. Like I said, every state is different. But after being out here for a while, you will kind of pick up on what you need to do and what you don't need to do. Obviously, I don't have easy pass, so... If it's open, I'm going in. If you got easy pass and that's an easy pass state, you need to be under the, in the right lane under the sensor. It'll tell you, you know, red light on the easy pass. You need to go inside the scale. I've never had a yellow light, green light. You're good to go. Also, some states will let you know outside the scale whether you have easy pass or not. They have sensors in that right lane. You need to be in that right lane a couple miles before the way station. They will give you a warning that the way station is coming up. There are sensors in the road that can weigh you at highway speed. So even if you don't have easy pass, I know Wisconsin does it at their super coupe. It can weigh you on the highway and it says truck okay to bypass. You can keep on going. You don't have to go in. If you're not sure if that truck was for that sign was for you and you want to play it safe, go in. But it will tell you on the highway, truck. Is okay to bypass way station. You can keep on going without an easy pass. As long as it says that. If it says truck must enter way station, you got to go in. Excuse me. So right now, I ran this route so long, I know a couple of miles I'm going to be coming up on the way station. You sh your following distance should already be good anyway. But when you're coming into these scales, you don't. You need to make sure you're 100 feet from the truck in front of you because they're going to be weighing him as he comes in. That truck will be getting weighed on that sensor. That will determine if you're going to get on the scale or if they're going to bypass you. Some states don't got a bypass lane. You're going in, you're getting on the scale. Some do. I got about 41,000 pounds of organic milk on right now pulling a tanker. So for me, 
it's essential for me not to get that low going a lot as I'm coming into the scale. If it gets to moving, I'm going to be over on the sensor. Minnesota going to want to weigh me. When Minnesota weighs me, they make sure it levels out. I've noticed because I've ran this route plenty of times. This is one of our main customers. So I'm actually approaching. Uh, there was the sign that said trucks over whatever gross it was enter the scale. So if these lights are flashing, which they are, that lets me know that scale is open. I don't have an easy pass, so I'm going in. Um, a rule of thumb that I use, if it's backed up on the highway, I don't go in. Whether the light is flashing, whether it says open, I don't risk sitting on the highway, especially with the way this ramp comes up from the right right here, because trucks will have to sit in that lane and you got people merging. It creates a big hazard. So I'm, I'm coming into the way station here. I'm already, when I get over here, see where that car just came from? That's the ramp I'm talking about. You got to watch those cars coming into this. This is a bad area right here. So I got more than 100 feet from the truck in front of me. The speed on this ramp is 25. You need to be, make sure you're doing 25. They can detect it on them sensors you go over. That also determines if you get the bypass or you go over the way. I got the feet footage I need in space. I'm down to 25. I'm going over the sensor right now. Next, pay attention to the arrows above you. If you go left, you bypass. If you go right, they want to weigh you. I got the left arrow. Don't go to the right if they say go to the left. It, don't bring no extra attention to yourself. You'll see there's a trash truck coming up to way to the right, and then there's a UPS set of doubles. He's sitting on the scale. This particular scale, when you pull on the scale, they'll tell you when they want you to stop. When, they, when the light says stop above, you stop. They gave me the bypass. I'm not drawing no extra attention to myself. I'm easing on by them. I'm out. It's as simple as that, guys. Don't make this harder than what it needs to be. Guys get in there and they panic and they stop on the ramp. They get everybody backed up. And it just creates a, a problem. Don't make this harder than what it has. It's pretty simple. A couple, a minute or so, you get in, you get out. Just like that. I'm back on the highway and I'm heading on to my delivery. It was that simple. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how easy it was. That's today's video. How to navigate a state-operated way station. This is Minnesota. Um, I-94 westbound crossing in from Wisconsin. So everybody, that was a quick video. Like, comment, subscribe. Give me some tips you may have. If you think I did something wrong, let me know. Let's talk about it. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks.